the sun. In India, there is on average 300 sunny days in a year. Let's put some sunscreen. This is Narendra Modi at the ISS summit, promising that India will produce 40% of its energy through renewable sources by 2013. Historically and until today, most of India's energy comes from coal. 72% to be exact. It is the fourth biggest consumer of coal in the world, and on top of that, it is the third biggest consumer of energy. Coal is still today the major source of energy, and there are 493 coal mines located all around India. Since 2015, the government has drastically improved the situation. India is switching from coal to solar power. Did you know that India owns the largest solar park in the world? It is located in the state of Karnataka, south of the country, close to Bangalore. It spans over 30,000 acres, which is similar to the area of Manhattan. There are so many birds in this place. Anyway, India is also the first country to have an airport fully powered by solar energy. The airport of Cochin is located in the state of Kerala, south of the country as well. In 2018, India invested $20 billion in renewable energy, which is quite low if you compare it to other countries. But if you look at the investment compared to the richness of the country, India is the second biggest investor, right after China. Europe and the US are lagging far behind, which is quite a shame actually. A country is not only a government, it's also its people, and India has a lot. Exactly 1 billion, 369 million, and... Uh, 459,035 people. And it will probably be more by the time you watch this video. I wanted to know what the people of India think about solar energy. So I went to Mumbai to meet with Sishir from the company Sunvest and his client to ask them some questions. Welcome to Mumbai. So now, let's meet Sunvest. I fundamentally believe that if you give people food, education, energy, healthcare, everyone's on a level playing field. Sunvest started in 2015. I started it with the uh, vision that every home and every business in the country could potentially have solar energy. Uh, we started in 2015 as an installation company. But in 2018, we made a decision that installation as a business alone would not be enough for us to make a dent in the universe. So we decided to start a, a new financing company called Sunvest Capital. And currently we're at Sunvest Capital and what we are is perhaps India's first dedicated rooftop solar financing company. As India is developing, the demand of energy is getting higher and higher. People are consuming more and more electricity, and sometimes the bill is getting too high. Fan, AC, light, stove, all of those are consuming a crazy amount of energy. The cost of power is very, very high. Uh, you'd be surprised that in certain places in Mumbai, you're paying as high as 20 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, you know, of, of uh, electricity rates, which is one of the highest uh, in, the, in the region. We went to visit Sishir's first clients to ask them some questions. Uh, we are a small family, myself and my wife, and we have one daughter. She's married and settled in the, in the United Kingdom. We live in a row house, which is an independent house um, in Mumbai since about uh, 16 years. Both of the families I met install solar panels on their roof, but for two very different reasons. We basically, are, right from day one, we were into that all the time, as much as possible. And of course, right nowadays, like use less plastics, Try to be as much energy efficient as possible. Do not waste anything. So what made you invest in uh, solar energy? Uh, the same reason was that we wanted to uh, this, uh, deviate from the fossil fuels. We are very conscious about all the environmental, environmental factors, energy. Maintenance wise, we found the electricity bills shooting up with uh, the ACs on and this humid climate. You really need AC in India, even sometimes in winter also we use. So we, we were very concerned about our electricity bills shooting up. The system is really interesting. The energy produced by a panel that is not used is sent back to the national grid. 
and you get credits for it. That will lower your next bill. So when you don't uh, consume all the electricity from the solar panel, it gives it back to the yeah, grid? Yeah, it gives back to the grid. And do you earn money from that? No, no, they no. don't give us money. They credit us in the neck. Like, suppose one month we were not in the house. There was no consumption, but it was generating power. So when the bill came, actually it was negative bill. I consume 25 units in a day. I generate 15 units. They bill me for 10 units only. That's it's working quite well. We came to know that it's a, it's actually an advantage. You're just putting in a capital investment, but the return on the capital investment as is fantastic. Our bills have reduced, crashed drastically. So basically, if you go on holiday, you earn money. And the best part is you're on a holiday. Somebody is doing work at home, producing electricity. And India has a lot of sun. <laughs> sun is in abundance. Yeah. So. So we like summers. We are. <laughs> <laughs> What I found fascinating is that the people are taking the initiative. Our country has been blessed with good sunshine, good sunshine. so let us utilize it when nature has At given us. <laughs> so that we can utilize it. And do you see around you people using more solar panels? Yeah, slowly, yes, it's happening. In my colony itself, earlier I think we were the first house, and uh, then one of my friends asked, another, another friend asked, a person in front has also installed. So you, you, sh you would advise? Uh, yeah, I would advise, because why are they thinking about it? You know, it's really, you buy TV, you buy car and it's outdated in some uh, six, seven months, it's outdated and uh, you're spending so much, just put in little amount comparatively. So, it's definitely worth it. Definitely yeah, it's worth definitely it. worth it. I mean, I'm not investing in the sun. The sun is there. And uh, I'm very proud that my parents have done something which is so environment friendly and uh, uh, it feels good that you are contributing to the environment and it benefits you also. Mm. Going solar nowadays can seem obvious to some people, but the majority is still very skeptical. These success stories are important to share. We all know solar energy exists, but this is the proof that it actually works. So this was my first video in India about solar energy. I hope you liked it. I would like to thank a lot uh, Seashare from the company Sunvest and his clients that were really nice to invite them to their home and talk to me about their experience. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have two more videos coming in India uh, the next weeks about renewable energy, so stay tuned and see you next week. Bye!